Welcome to Workshop Scale Modeling for my next build. I'm building this Airfix Adjustment BF109 E4 E3 scale 1 to 24. Now, this is um, an older Airfix kit. It's um, quite basic, um, but it's at a very large scale. You know, so it's um, always fun to do these scales. Uh, I've got a couple um, that I've got in mind that I'm going to be doing. But let's see what's in this box. As you can see, it's a rather large box. Um, as predicted, it is your basic kit. Uh, let me just open up this bag. Let's see what's inside. I mean, straight off the bat, you can tell it's an old mold. Well, there's probably going to be a lot of work involved getting it to where you, you would like it. I have rubber tires, Converfix on stand, which is always nice. I have the clear parts here for the carpet. Not the best quality, they're going to need to be um, polished up, I think. Um, a bit of feature uh, polish will do that, or clear. The bits already off the screw, which you're going to have to be careful with if you've got this kit to make sure everything comes out of the bag. You have the wings now. The one thing I hate about these older kits is how they connect it to the screw. That they're always big lumpy bits um, on the actual part and they, they need um, looking at um, well, they need dealing with more than your normal um, modern day kits, which is always unfortunate. So, a bit of cleaning up to do. Again, more parts off the screw, which is annoying. So, I'll come to the pilot as well. Um, the panel lines are quite deep, so I don't think I will have to score these, which is good. Not to save a bit of time. But there's not much detail in the kit itself. Well, this is the so well, what the fourth screw has in total. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at it closely, there is quite a bit of cleaning up to, especially on the pilot. I mean. <coughs> This is the problem here, because it's quite a big uh, chunk of plastic you have to snip off. Turn it this way. Yeah, you have to snip off before you uh, line up with the other half of the fusion wash. And of course, you don't want to do it too much or it will come off. Decals. A large decal sheet, obviously, it's a large plane. So there's two different variants uh, by looks on the box. Um, interesting to know they don't give you a decal for the instrument panel. Um, so people who enjoy painting that in instead. But, uh, others who don't enjoy painting it. Well, you know, it's sometimes good to get a practice. I'm happy either way. The instructions, I would imagine these are going to be basic as well. Since it is the older kit. Yeah. Not really much in detail at all. This kit can really do with a revamp I think. And at the end we have the, the two variants. So 1940 version and 1942-43 version. Um, I'll probably just go for the classic look. Although, I like the decals on there. Well, um, again, I can't make up my mind what variant I'll do on that. I'll have a look at it and see um, where I go. So that's the bill, um, what's in the box. Um, as I said, it's a basic. Um, I'll be straight out the box uh, build. I know you can add uh, things uh, to, to this if you, if you wish, but um, for me, it's just going to be uh, a basic build. I just want the um, the plane itself. I'm not worried about 
uh, too much detail inside it. This is why I, I don't mind the type of kit it is. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the other builds on my channel? Uh, there's one or two there for you to have a look at. Subscribe to the channel for any updates. And of course, hit that like button and leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.